The annual GEMTECH Awards are an important way in which ITU and UN Women recognize the tremendous power of ICTs to transform the lives of girls and women everywhere. I congratulate not just this year's winners and the finalists, but all the amazing projects that were submitted. A truly inspiring global effort. I'm co-founder and executive chairwoman of the Mozilla Foundation. I'm proud to support the GEMTECH Awards and the recognition of outstanding work in the promotion of gender equality with technology. Technology plays a critical role in the empowerment of every woman and girl, from providing access to education and economic opportunities to enabling personal and professional growth. Switzerland cares about digital equality, empowering women and girls through ICTs. We proudly support the GenTech Awards and extend our warm congratulations to the winners. For their accomplishments in utilizing ICTs to reduce the gender digital divide and mainstream the inclusion of women, girls in the use of ICTs, here are the winners of the 2015 GEMTECH Awards. Applying Technology for Women's Empowerment. The Research Center of Communication and Development Knowledge Management, Thailand. Since uh, 2006, CCDKM has set up uh, itself with the mission of ICT for the marginalized empowerment. And then women and girls are one among them, uh, also include with others, disability group and others. So with the decade of development that we have done with a lot of partners in using ICT to empowering all the marginalized people, 300, more than 300,000 people are trained with ICT. We are very proud, but anyhow, still a challenge in ICT for gender empowerment in Thailand. This is our mission to prolong. So we hope that uh, all the partners can still working with uh, CCDKM to achieve our gender and ICT empowerment. Promoting women in the technology sector Technovation Challenge. So we should start with the problem. In our school, we have 67 cases of hepatitis C because of the water. 18% of women engaged in self-harm and 6% of men said the same. Drunk driving has plagued real problems, such as women's safety, waste removal, and childhood obesity. ¿Qué problema resuelven? We see a lot of problems in our town. We don't have boxes for garbage. Who knows better the problems in the community than the people? A business and technology competition, you have the ability to practice your English, learn some new things. My computer science teacher sent out this huge email to all the students about technovation. Welcome to the Technovation World Pitch Competition. Well, we need to find the girls to do it. But most of the girls were like, no, computer science is for boys. Only 7% of tech startups are led by women. And now I feel like I look everywhere, I'm like, that's a problem, and then this app could solve it. This is the next social media button. We are sophomores and we're all 15 years old. Promote a cleaner, greener, and safer environment. We want to make it perfect. <laughs> An actual problem and finding a way to solve it, like that is a really good feeling.
developing gender responsive ICT, governance policy and access. The Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, Senegal. Le renforcement du rôle de responsabilité et de la participation des femmes aux activités de développement au niveau de tous les secteurs est une priorité pour le gouvernement du Sénégal. Nouvelle technologie de l'information et de la communication. Notre ambition, en tout cas, c'est promouvoir l'entrepreneuriat féminin à travers les types, l'autonomisation des femmes, mais également la prise en charge des questions de la problématique du genre dans les différentes politiques publiques. Notre ambition, c'est de mettre en place euh, un fonds d'appui euh, à l'innovation, un fonds d'appui qui va accompagner les femmes et les filles porteuses de projets dans le secteur d'éthique. Et nous souhaitons plus loin qu'il y ait même une alliance mondiale pour l'autonomisation des femmes à travers les nouvelles technologies de l'information et de la communication. Et je pense que c'est possible. Global Achievers The opportunity cost for non-inclusion of women in national mainstream is immense. I strongly believe that women empowerment using ICTs is a key driver for transformation to knowledge society. In my own capacity, we focused our work on the most disadvantaged of our women and young girls and to provide them the opportunities that they well and truly deserve. We are taking whatever measures that are required to empower women and young girls of my country through the use of ICTs. We've come up with a new cross-cutting initiative focused on protecting and empowering women and girls and it's called The Future She Deserves. We've been bringing together key diplomats, agency heads, industry experts and business leaders around the same table, really forcing uh, each other to think outside the box. These are powerful decision makers. We believe that by working together across sectors, men and women, that we can drive toward innovative solutions and really have a profound impact. I'm Nancy Hafkin. I'm greatly honored to have been chosen by ITU and UN Women to be a recipient of the 2015 GEM Tech Award in recognition of the work that I have done for over 25 years to promote gender equality in information technology. This is an area that I think is of tremendous importance for girls and women all over the world. <laughs>